If you don't want to rent the episodes just in case you hate the series, if you do have a Netflix account, it is currently on Netflix. So... Hello guys, it's D to the B here, and conveniently as I reviewed season one of this show, Disney would announce a day or a week after I uploaded that review that the Marvel Netflix shows would be taken off of Netflix. And I just uploaded that video at the wrong time. I should have done it a lot sooner. Oh well. If you want to know where Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is now, it's on Disney Plus with the other Marvel shows. The good ones and the terrible ones. Great. Personally, I have not wanted to support Disney for a while after some situations with Star Wars. So I bought the series on Vudu so I don't have to watch it on Disney+. Plus. And besides, they would probably get rid of some of those episodes anyway. And yes, I know, it's been three months since I uploaded Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1 review video. I know it's been three months, or by the time that I started recording this, it's been three months. And I've gotten all the way to the start of Season 5, which I have not finished. By the way, I haven't actually watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in a while. I really need to. So a lot has happened since Season 1 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ward is in custody of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, Fitz and Simmons are no longer a pair in this show because Simmons is now undercover getting personal information from Hydra. Fitz is all messed up after, after season one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He is having issues, um, talking with people and getting sentences out in the right way. Some new characters have come in, which I'll get into in just a second. Phil Coulson is drawing these images that are in his head because of the alien blood. So yeah, a lot has happened in this show. With that out of the way, let's get into the characters first. New character is Mac, which is one of my favorite Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. characters thus far. Well, besides Fitz and Simmons. Then we get um, Sky's psychopath father, which I forget his name. There's Barbara Bobby. I really like her. She is a very awesome character. She's better than all the new characters that the MCU has been putting out nowadays. I'm sorry, it's the truth. Just modern MCU right now, except for Spider-Man No Way Home, sucks. Even though I personally um, liked WandaVision, I will admit that it, that is not a perfect show. That show has a lot of problems, and I've kind of soured on the show a little bit. Which happens. But anyway, continuing on with characters. there. Then there's Lance Hunter... And he's alright, I'll say that. There's also characters like Lincoln, who has electric powers. Man, Marvel just has a lot of characters with electricity. They got this guy, they got Electro. But that's gonna be a thing that happens constantly in the show. Where they um, have characters with same powers of a different character. It happens a lot in the show, but let's continue on with characters. Okay, I just found the name of Sky's father. It's Clavin Johnson. Which And there's one character I forgot to mention in the previous review. His name is Anthony Tripp, which was... um. Ward's best friend, and he joined the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. after Ward betrayed 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., basically. And last but not least, of all the characters I can remember, there is, if I'm pronouncing this right, Jaying. I'm sorry if I got this name wrong, but that's what I could find. And that's all the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. characters that have been added for Season 2. Well, there's technically more. Like, there's this old agent guy, which I forget the name to. It's been a while since I've seen Season 2. But yeah, those are all the new characters in the show. And there's a lot of plot points in the show. Like, um, for one, we get to meet um, Grant Ward's older brother... Which I've forgotten his name to, of course. Just found it, Christian Ward. Who is a politician. And at some point, he finds out that the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has his brother. And the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. offer to help. But of course, he chooses the stupid option. And has like two guards um, escort... Agent Ward, which causes him to escape. Nice going, idiot. And also gets him killed by his own brother. You know, I know I don't like Ward, but he kind of deserved it. For A, what he did for his brother, uh, to his um younger brother. <clears throat> and B, for being an idiot. Alright, and then there's also the plot point with um, Sky and her father, which we do know the name of Sky now in this season, it is Daisy Johnson, which it's so good to know this character's name now, besides just Sky. And basically, um, Clavin is trying to repair his relationship with his daughter so they could be a family again. And also, I think it's like somewhere halfway into the middle of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They give um, Sky her own powers because of this ancient tomb that was built underground. Which, I'm going to say this, it connects with all the weird drawings. So... The series starts off with um, Coulson um, sketching these um, shapes into something. And as the show progresses in season two, we finally get to find out that these images that he's been carving is not a language... But a map to an ancient um, facility, or I should say city. And of course, when they go to the city, um, Sky is reformatted to have powers now. And so is the, the flower dress lady, but she is a whole lot hideous now. And... Also, I think it's Antoine, the character. Anyway, let's continue on. But also linking the sky getting powers, we get to find out about this island where it holds these beings that are called Inhumans, which the Inhumans are these um beings that were modified by a race called the Creed. And yes, the Creed has been in the MCU before. I'm pretty sure it's the form of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, I know the Creed was in a certain movie called Captain Marvel. But I really like to pretend that film it didn't exist in a personal take. Because it's just a bad movie. I'm going to have to review it one of these days because it's just, it's really bad. But anyway, continuing on, these hu Inhumans are living in this village peacefully. And the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. want to unite with them. Which, of course, 
you think would go successfully, um, but they get in a battle, and it's not the sh- S.H.I.E.L.D. agent's fault. It's um, Sky's mother. Sky's mother is evil because, of course, we can't have nice characters, especially when they're family members. And she basically wants to get into a war with um, the normal people, I should say, and have the Inhumans rule the world, which lasts a long time. And eventually it gets her killed because her crazy psychopathic husband has no choice to kill her. Because he says, you don't, you shouldn't have to experience the pain of killing your mother, so I'll kill her. And yeah, I just feel bad for her, her father at this point, but he does kind of get his happy ending because they use the program called the T the T the Tahiti Project. I'm sorry, to wipe his memory of his messed up life, and he becomes this vet, and he's basically happy. And yeah, that's about it for this season. Really good. And, of course, Season 3 will be next. But I figured I'd give you Season 2, and I promise I'll try to release Season 3 a bit faster. And also, I'm hoping to upload more videos this year. I have a lot to do. Alright, if you like today's video, please subscribe, like this video, and comment if you have something to say. And have a nice day, everyone. Ooh, a couple things before I forget. Um, there was this whole arc where S.H.I.E.L.D. was split for a bit. It was because they didn't know who to trust at the time because of the events of Season 1, a.k.a. the events of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And they had some bickering. Um, they had to find Sky and that stuff. Yeah, that arc went I for a very long time, actually. And then, unfortunately, um, Simmons gets sucked into a rock, and she is presumed to be dead. But this is where I'm going to end the video here. Is she dead? Or is she alive? You're going to have to find out in Season 3 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. See you guys in the next video.